Um, so I'm Karina and I'm a rising junior at Castellaya School and I made two starter projects. My first one is an ultrasonic parking sensor and my second one is a laser target. So with my first one, the way it works is that there are two sensors and the first sensor will emit a sound wave onto an object, um, like it can be another car or an object on the street. And then after it bounces back on the object, the other sensor will receive it. And this wave is then converted into energy, which will have a specific voltage based on the wavelength of the sound wave. And if this voltage exceeds the um, breakdown threshold of the Zener diode, then the current will continue to flow through the circuit and will trigger the buzzer to sound. But if the object is a certain distance away from your car, then um, the sound wave will not have a, that given voltage and then the current will not go through and trigger the buzzer. Um, so I have a Zener diode, I have Zener diodes and normal diodes in my, um, in my circuit and a normal diode basically works because it current can only go in one direction versus a Zener diode which current can also only go in one direction but if it has a certain voltage it can also um, flow in the other direction as well. I also have resistors and there are different resistors and they're color coded. So a given, re um, a given combination of colors um, is a different type of resistor and resistors basically just restrict the amount of current that can flow through in a given amount of time and they're measured in ohms. Um, I also have capacitors and capacitors can just store charge flow and can make the current flow for a given amount of time but then will stop. Um, the current from flowing and therefore stop the circuit and they're measured in farads. Um, I also have ICs right here and each IC has a different um, purpose and they're on sockets and that's just so that you can take the ICs out and also because the ICs are not meant um, to withstand the heat of soldering. And then I also have a potentiometer and the potentiometer is meant to change the output voltage which will actually change how um, sensitive the sensors are. So if you want the buzzer to buzz, um, if an object is a um, greater distance or less than distance, then you can actually just change the setting using the potentiometer. Um, and then on to my next project. Oh, and this project actually unfortunately did not work. And um, one of the things that I did to make sure to test why my project wasn't working was um, I compared it with other people who did projects on the ultrasonic parking sensor and there was nothing visibly wrong, like there were no parts missing or nothing was in the wrong place. So then I tested to look at the solder to see if there were any short circuits and that would be caused if um, two solders were somehow connected in some way because that would short circuit it because then the current would just flow from one solder to the other instead of actually flowing through the whole circuit. Um, but there were no problems like that. So then I tested using a multimeter to see if there were any open circuits and I was able to do that, that by testing to see if um, current was, if I tested, like, because you can tell if the current, which path the current is supposed to take. So if you connect two points where the current is supposed to flow through and it's not flowing through, then you can tell that there's a problem. Either there may be a short circuit or a part is defective. Overall, there weren't any problems there either, so we're not really sure why the parking sensor wasn't working. So then I went on to a different project, which is the laser target, and um, some additional parts in here were CDSs, and basically they work. They're very high resistors, but the resistance decreases as the light intensity increases. So if you use a laser, um, then actually the resistance um, reduces a lot, and then current can actually flow through this object and actually flow into the LEDs, and LEDs stand for light emission diodes and basically if current flows through them then they will light up and then there's also a potentiometer which will increase or decrease the resistance um, so it'll increase or decrease the um, the light of the LED so that's how it works and then if I shine my laser here you can tell that the LEDs are lighting up so that's it mm -hmm. Um, so I learned a lot about testing and debugging circuits 
because my ultrasonic parking sensor wasn't really working, so I learned about how you can test for open circuits or um, testing for short circuits um, and stuff like that. And I learned a lot about how you can tell um, the exact path of current. So I learned a lot from this project. And then I also just learned a lot about um, electricity in general and like the different parts of it, like resistors, capacitors, um, and how they're the different ways that it's measured. Um, and yeah, I had a lot of fun too. Um, and my next project is I'm building a, sol um, a mechanism for a solar panel so that it can actually follow the sun so it can absorb as much energy as possible.